Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you a Libra reading. Okay, so if your sun, moon, rising is in Libra, welcome to my channel. If you are a Libra lover, what's going on, okay? Now look, y'all flip the roles as you see fit. You know who plays what in your story. I don't, I'm just reading the energy. So I'm not sure if you're masculine or feminine. Just please use the spirit of discernment, okay? Don't force it to fit, okay? If it's not your story, it's just not it. I am tapping into quite a few people's energy and sometimes I may not get the whole thing. But guess what? You can always check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, <laughs> however, right? And it'll help you pull the story together. Also check out the daily um teas. I didn't post one today, been pretty busy transitioning back to work, but Hey, I'm showing up for y'all because it's supposed to be SI Mondays today, but I feel like because I didn't do y'all last Monday, let me start with Libra today, okay? Um, now, I'm going to try to do Aquarius and Gemini tonight, possibly. We'll see, but otherwise, y'all, I'm going to set my intentions um, so we can be on the same page energetically here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this collective Libra reading. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates of communion with you. Close the gates to anything that's not in alignment ask you to protect us from any negative emotions energies spell work um projections <laughs> anything that's just totally not in alignment with what i'm doing okay or my community period thank you so much for using me as the messenger and so it is all right so let's see. thank you show me what i need to see for my libras what is it that they need to know <clears throat> It's time for you to choose a new direction, Libra. So we're going to see what that's about. Let me show you. All right, so you got to follow the star, man. It's like you're getting downloads, okay, um, from the divine when it comes to choosing this new direction here. So definitely make sure you are tapped in. I'm seeing also on this card that you possibly want to do some meditation, okay? So it's time for you to take to go within with this you do have a lot of support from the spiritual realm when it comes to this all right so definitely make sure you are tapping in okay now take that time to create some space for yourself if you aren't for meditation um just to get some intuitive answers to what it is that you're inquiring about with this new direction or with your situation overall Thank you. Show me what I need to see for this choose a new direction card. Okay, so you may have hit a breaking point at one point, but what I'm seeing is that you're beginning to heal over something. Okay, you're becoming more um, self-sufficient, more confident, nine of swords in the reverse position, nine of pentacles in the upright. Okay, so now you're becoming more grounded here. Um overcoming your obstacles I'm, I'm feeling like you're reaching this stage in your life where you feel a balance okay now <clears throat> you may have been worried about it before you know being codependent and i'm not saying codependent as far as like ego mindsets and things um that is included in there somehow but <laughs> at the same time when it comes to your finances it's like that may have also have been something you've been you were very concerned about okay i do have an emperor coming out in a reverse position so there's something here that makes you a little off balance okay where you're not structured or disciplined in a particular area all right when it comes to pursuing a goal that you may have so let's see what that's about thank you it's a lot of things here that you don't express that that should be expressed is what i'm seeing right but when i'm because of maybe that lack of discipline i could use that word for better terms or if it's some type of stubbornness there okay it's keeping you in hangman position where you're waiting um you may feel uncertain about certain things you're making sac sacrifices here i'm also seeing um when it comes to this situation here but in order for you to be able to take action again on what it is that you're trying to do with this goal it's going to take you to do some self-reflecting thank you show me what i need to see all right and <laughs> What I see here is a feminine energy coming in with the Queen of Cups in the upright position. All right, so either here, there's a waiting period between you and this person, okay? With this Queen of Cups, it seems like they're highly intuitive. 
they're very compassionate i'm saying and they may also play like this role to you that's almost like an anchor let's just say like a very strong support system um what i'm seeing with you guys and you may have a very emotional connection with this person too as well but what i'm seeing is that you may not be moving towards that okay or not working on it whatsoever eight of eight of cups here and the eight of pentacles both in a reverse it's like you have to go towards what serves you right because you're dissatisfied with something here but what is a part of your higher purpose in your life it seems to be connected to whatever it is that you're compassionate about whether it's a person or a situation and there's a lot of stagnation when it comes to this all right and i'm picking up it's a lot of fear that's surrounding this you may be staying in a situation because of fear okay and that's not good at all right because then you end up neglecting certain things certain people um it may be a lack of quality within that situation or relationship where you should be working on cultivating whatever this goal is that you have in mind for yourself okay thank you that's where um, that's where the accomplishments comes in when you focus on what those goals are. All right. And you take the time to go within with the hermit card. Take some time to do some soul searching, to do some self-reflecting so that you can gain some insight about the situation and yourself is what I'm saying. It's time for you to go into solitude, okay? So that you can come out of this energy with the Five of Pentacles in a reverse. So you can see some positive changes actually take place in your life and in this situation. All right? Because you may be feeling um, isolated. You may feel a loneliness, a sense of loneliness here because of whatever this hardship is that you are going through. Um, some of you I'm picking up are actually taking the time to withdraw your energy and actually literally go within okay I, I feel like some of you are definitely headed in that direction um to bring about these positive changes in your life but i do still see that uh some of my collective here are still trying to figure out how to overcome what is taking place and the way to do that is to choose a new direction here all right so that you can see some positive changes and also so that some healing can take place don't be stubborn about it okay or being in my king of swords energy in the reverse all right rude all right irrational don't do that no manipulation and things like that so what tell me about this king of swords in the reverse here all right so with this king of swords i got a knight of wands that comes with it right now it seems like when i'm picking that up as energy you know this masculine may be ready to get some things done here knight of wands so you can see it, but it's still in a night energy, right? This is one of these things where it's still having something is blocking or it's a difficult, mm, maybe difficult for you to kind of commit to whatever this goal is that you have. All right. But it's more still like you feel energetic. You, you're ready to get things done. You're trying to tap into your intuition here or listen to your inner voice when it comes to this. Okay. But at the same time, there's still some difficulties there. All right. With the high priestess here in the upright position. Okay, so definitely it's time to listen to your intuition is what I'm hearing with that. Even with that hermit card that came out, it's like it's time for you to withdraw your energy and to go within at this time so that you can hear what the divine is saying to you or what the universe or your ancestors, however it resonates for you. Okay, because it's a lot that's hidden be beneath the surface that you may not see. All right. And when it comes to this, you got to have that willingness you have to have that strength um the willpower and all to be able to bring these ideas that you have um into fruition right into this reality here strength card in the upright position next to the page of cups so all of these ideas that you have you've been just literally contemplating about them thinking about them okay but now what i'm seeing here is like all right get grounded okay it's time for you to bring these ideas um into this reality here right but for some odd reason still contemplating here maybe even feeling a little disconnected show me what that's about it's time for you to get clear and the best way to do that is to take some time to put back into you to reflect all right and what i'm seeing with the seven of pentacles in the reverse and the four of wands in an upright position whatever it is here that you 
are having some type of hardship in, okay? There's something that's unfinished there. You may be procrastinating with it. And it has a lot to do with you creating some type of foundation for yourself um, or even a relaxed home environment. Whatever this is, it has a lot to do with that foundation to be able to have something here where you feel supported, you feel happy, right? Where you can celebrate, but you're procrastinating when it comes to that point. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Tell me what the seven of pentacles did i say pen yeah seven of pentacles and the reverse is about it's about your personal transition at this time is what i'm seeing six of swords energy in an upright position so it's about you being able to move forward here or even leaving what's familiar so that you can get to this new direction in your life or you can get to this new phase in your life right so now you gotta make some uncomfortable choices or decisions is what i'm hearing and you may be having a difficult time doing that or or just being resistant to making some changes for you to be able to get to that point okay so thank you show me why i need to see here yeah it's a lack of closure in order for you to get to your goals or for you to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve here you got to take that action to do it. You're going to have to choose a new direction to get there. All right. Because you definitely feel like you're missing something. Thank you. Overall, what's the energy here for Libra in this situation? Uh, oh, look, I was looking for these cards. What's the energy for Libra for this situation when it comes to this spread? Thank you. I'm sorry, I was doing a personal reading and I was looking for my angel and ancestor deck and they right there in my face. But the whole time I was looking, I didn't see them. I must wasn't supposed to use it. Look at this. The overall energy is you tapping into your intuition and going within. This is in the reverse position. So there's a definitely um, some, type of, some type of block when it comes to that. Okay, so definitely time to focus on that aspect of yourself. Let me see something here with this book. So look there's a block in your intuition an inner disconnect or a sense of living in the dark you have a deep desire to know your purpose and your truth but they can feel very distant from you this is a message of dissatisfaction where your inner life is concerned it's possible that extreme worry and discontent are the obstacles to the inner peace and wisdom that you seek if so you need to let that go and renew your faith in yourself and your eternal spirit Get out of your own way and release the fear that's blocking the truth of your blessed eternal nature. Your soul, your higher self knows you best. So allow stillness into your life. Listen to the stirring of your own intuitive voice and trust what you receive. Yep. It's all about you, Libra. Going within and taking that time here to um, listen to yourself. Like, okay, because you definitely, of course, you got to be connected to source in order for you to get these divinely guided messages that are coming to you. So it's time for you to go within so that you can hear it. All right. So you were definitely, you know, going through a lot of stuff. I'm seeing it, whatever that happened to you in the past or even in the present. I'm actually seeing that things are beginning to clear out for you with the storm warning card in a reverse. All right, so the storm came through, but it came through to change your perspective or to change the nature of a situation because, yeah, that things have to end, right? We have to end certain cycles, especially if they're karmic, in order to go towards what we're trying to manifest for ourselves. And with this in a reverse, whatever that storm brought in, it definitely has shifted some things for you, brought a lot of sudden changes, okay? But when you go in within with that situation, then you'll begin to be able to navigate through the rest of this process. But trust and believe, that's a reverse card. So things are definitely clearing up for you, okay? And at the end of every storm, but you get a rainbow, okay? So I'm definitely hearing success will come out of this situation, especially when you choose a new direction. Tell me about the storm warning card in, in the reverse here. When it comes to your wishes and whatever you've been hoping for, ooh, with my nine of cups in the upright position, it's like you got some conflict that's going on. It's some type of conflict, some type of competition, but I got reverse energy here. Okay, so you may have been trying to avoid it or you're just trying to keep the peace, right? So that you can still have that satisfaction that you're looking for okay now show me what i need to see 
Maybe you're just cooperating here for some odd reason, but something has you very uncertain or unclear with the moon card. You, you, it's either anxiety, okay, but something here has you, um, I'm feeling not so much withdrawn, but just not sure, okay? And it, it's a lot of anxiety about you ending something with the death card. In order for you to get to a new beginning, you got to let go of the past, right? The things that no longer serve you at this time. It's like, yeah, this phase has to end. And there's a lot of anxiety around that. You you have a new uh, beginning that is being presented to you is what I'm saying. But you have to rise above some things in order for you to get there. Whether it's materialism, whether it's you being impulsive or fearing change or refusing to face the fear of change, however that may go, right? That's something that should be focused on. With the Page of Cups that's coming out, it's like you're getting these ideas and opportunities are definitely coming to you out of the blue here is what I'm seeing. Um, but you're just not really sure how to express it. So what these ideas are that are coming to you, look for signs. But in order for you to see the signs, you got to be tapped in, right? And right now, it seems like you're in this karmic cycle, which I do see, which I also see that it's coming to a close. Um, For some of you, you may have already ended this cycle and in this new phase, right? But with the Wheel of Fortune card in the reverse, it's still just a, about, you know, whatever this idea is that you have, you may even feel that it's going to make things worse, because it's an unexpected change, right? So you may feel like here that if you don't do anything, right? Mm. But not doing anything is going to create the tower. And that's what's coming out of it. So you're going to have to have a lot of strength when you make this transition, okay? A lot of um, carriage and willpower because you, you will overcome the obstacles that's coming from this. All right, but for the most part, it's like what I'm seeing is like... You're like, either I do nothing and hope for the best, right? Or I take action and the, and, the, and the situation will improve. Like, those are your two options, right? But you can't do nothing and hope for the best because what's going to end up happening is the universe is going to instigate the change, okay? And make things shift. And that's what happened. That's what that storm was that came through for you to awaken you, okay? And even with the tower card here, whatever happened should have shook you to this point of having the carriage here to overcome the obstacles, right? Because... <laughs> what I feel like that came out of that storm for you, Libra. That shit was sudden. It was disastrous. Some of you may have gotten divorced. Some of you may have encountered financial favors, um, failure, sorry, death of a loved one, whatever that was, right? Even health problems is what I'm seeing. Whatever happened, it literally shook you to the core. But again, this was supposed to awaken you, right? give you the revelation that you need and you may feel inadequate about it or lack the will but what I'm saying is what should come out of that is your carriage your self-control your ability to overcome obstacles um and you should be able to end this situation okay so what I'm seeing here is with a king of swords in an upright position next to my queen of wands. All right, so it's something here that needs to be ended when it comes to this situation or person. You got to be in your king of swords energy, basically setting a healthy boundary for yourself, right? Like, hey, you know, we cool, but stay back there. <laughs> you get me? It's like, Stay back there right now, right? Because I need to set this healthy boundary so I can get to my new beginning. But instead of that energy being there, right? And and I feel like for some of you, you actually are gaining the carriage. That just came to me. You actually are feeling like you can overcome this situation with this queen of wands. Okay? Now, whatever that may be, again, it could be a demanding situation. It could just be literally a person that's a fire sign energy who's very temperamental and demanding. And now you just like, all right, now I, I feel like I can overcome this. And you're in your King of Swords energy. Either way it goes, right? But what I'm seeing is like you're no longer looking at how you can um, be committed to the situation with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. What is happening here 
is you're having worries about this. You feel like it's going to set you back. So whether those worries may lead, lead you to failure, right? Or some type of financial insecurity, you, you're no longer showing commitment towards that. And you're afraid if you stop showing commitment towards that, it's going to set you back. You're, you have a lot of regret from whatever happened in that situation here. Whoever that fireside energy is, that situation didn't turn out the way you expected it. And I'm also saying here, you're very disappointed. You may have a lot of regret. And you are, instead of healing and moving on from it, you may be holding on to it. And this also would, would put you in this King of Swords energy too, where you set these boundaries for yourself here. That's a, a protective me mechanism I'm hearing also, right? But this is also why you haven't been moving forward or taking action, why the hangman is here, right? It's like you're taking this moment. You've been taking a long moment is what I'm hearing <laughs> to pause <laughs> all right, and reflect. All right, you've been taking a long time here to try to gain some new perspectives here. But overall, right, during this period of some uncertainty, what you should be doing is releasing the old mentalities that no longer serve you, right? So that you can make the next step is what I'm saying. So it's, it's really time. It really, You really should be the ruler of your life so that you can achieve whatever it is you're trying to do with this project or with this person, whatever it may be, right? Take some action. Don't be resistant to a new way of thinking. That's all it is. That's what it seems like with the block is about. Libra is um, a way of thinking here that may keep you stuck. May keep you stuck to people, circumstances. However, right? That changing has to think. I mean, <laughs> that changes have to think. <laughs> that, <laughs> that thinking has to change. <laughs> all right. So with the, <laughs> the five of pentacles here in the upright position here, you just really more focus on um, your financial stability. It's like you don't want to have any issues when it comes to that. Okay. So now even some of you may be even trying to figure out, you know, a, a good budget for yourself so that you can spend wisely here. So you won't have issues with your financial stability. All right, so yeah, it's a lot that seems to be on your mind when it comes over also making this decision. Thank you. And I see third party situations too as well. I got a three of cups in the reverse. So you may not really be clicking well, okay, with someone um, within this situation. Three of cups in the reverse. That could be some type of, um, you may prefer just to be alone could be some gossip it could be something that's happening it's like not really a sociable period for you um when it comes to that aspect of of whoever is coming through okay and with this knight of pentacles here in a reverse position it's like you're doing a lot of daydreaming <laughs> not really planning not planning to take any action not really looking for some type of results or anything thank you you just dream about the ending Thank you. Tell me about this three of cups in the reverse. Emperor. The emperor is out, y'all. This is a masculine energy, authority figure, father figure, someone who's structured, disciplined. Okay. The emperor takes authority as well and it could be either way whether this is a person or this is my team telling you take authority over your goals over your future over your life six of wands because what you want to do is to be able to achieve these goals right some of you want even want public acknowledgement for the efforts that you are putting into this goal right some of you you know want to achieve so many things it's about you reaching important milestones at this point all right but you got to be proud for real of what you achieved even now is what i'm hearing okay and even with this knight of wands energy in the upright position it's like come on get things done you know take action be inspired you have this clear vision about what you want now move 
Don't be unsure how to channel the energy. The best thing to do is just to take action. The chariot is in the reverse. There's no movement. You may feel like it's a loss of control on your end, but hey, in order for you to overcome those challenges and gain the victory in this situation, you got to maintain focus. You got to maintain your confidence and you got to be determined through this process. That's what it's really calling for. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here for you in this situation. It's about you making a decision. I just seen the courthouse card. Come on. Some of you are in a mental prison. Not feeling valuable. Some of you are actually in poverty, maybe. Some of you somebody may go to prison, but I'm gonna pull some more to see because I don't like those two cards together. Okay. But what I'm saying is it's like it's a lot going on here. Despair. So in order for there to be a new beginning with the ace of swords here, right? That confusion, whatever that mental block may be, you got to get clear. You want to break through? Tap into those new ideas that you're getting and take action. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me what else I need to do. Right. Look at this. Check this out. You want to give into a connection you have with someone that you got a very strong bond with. Six of Pentacles. Whatever that is, it's like you're ready to be a very generous person or a generous lover. You're ready to whatever that may be. You want to share um, your ideas or your goals with this person. OK, um, this is like a partnership. Either it could be a creative partnership, literally, or this could be someone that you really got a lot of love for with the two of cups. It's like you made these decisions with the two of swords here. If not, listen to your intuition to make this decision. Trust what you know to be true when it comes to that connection, okay? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. But you're hopeless. The star card in the reverse. It's something here that makes you feel hopeless. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Masculine energy. It's like with this situation or this person, it's like you're inspired by it. You dream about it. You want to create it. You want to move forward with it. But something here is restricting you or stopping you. It's like almost like you have to offer your cup to two different people I'm seeing with the King of Cups. Right? It's, it's almost like you got a lot of responsibilities here. But it's like you got a lot of, a lot of love too is what I'm saying. A lot of compassion. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's like the universe is handing you the Pentacles. Like, everything is changing for the better for you when it comes to your material comfort. Or, you know, when it comes to you um, having your physical well-being, whatever that may be. It's like the universe is trying to hand you that. And you seem like you may be trying to offer something too as well so that you can change some things to the, for the good. Show me what I need to see with this Ace of Cups. Yep, Page of Pentacles came out. So you're trying to manifest something here by tapping into um, your own ability at this time. It's like you, whatever this, your motivation, you're trying to turn it into reality here. Okay, and with the Magician again, it's like you're trying to manifest something here. And even at that rate, if you're not there, just know you are the magician. Like you literally can manifest the life you desire by tapping into your abilities that you already have. You already got the skills to manifest. Okay. You just got to really trust yourself. You have to release low vibrational energies and all. You got to stay in a happy place to manifest. You got to release what no longer serves you. You got to let things go. You got to allow these endings to happen for you to manifest. That's how it works. It's like you got these ideas and stuff in your mind um, about this project or about whatever this goal is. You want to get off the ground here, right? But you got to remember that you are a powerful manifester. You can turn this into reality, literally. You got everything you need at your fingertips. Thank you.
Tell me what I need to see about this imprisonment card. So you gotta remain optimistic, even though you endured so many challenges here, okay, with the star card in the upright position, it's gonna require that um, you realize and remember that you are connected to Source God and anything is possible. And you may be wearing a blindfold, okay, with the two of cups, uh, two of swords in the upright position to make a certain decision because it feels like either option you choose will lead to a negative consequence, right? Again, listen to your intuition about making this decision. You got to trust what you know to be true here when it comes to that. It's going to require logic <clears throat> as well as your intuition to make this decision. And it has a lot to do with someone that is a lover, Okay, they could be a higher level soulmate. They could be a partner, just somebody that could be a friend. It could be somebody you're married to. Whatever it is, it's some type of meaningful connection here. And it's about making decisions, choices, right? And in order for you to make that choice, you got to trust what you know to be true about this. With this hermit card in the reverse, it's like you're ready to... Stop juggling is all I see. With this hermit in the reverse right here, it's like you got to take this time for personal reflection so that you can do what you need to do with this other person in this third party situation. It's a queen of cups in reverse coming through. And you're ready to actually get out there and to, to connect with someone in a way different way you haven't been doing in a long time. You've been doing a lot of soul searching with this. All right. But of course, you got two situations here that's weighing on you heavy. Right. It's two. You, you got too many things going on. Let's just put it that way. OK. <laughs> and you got to make these decisions here, um, especially when it comes to this Queen of Cups in reverse. Because, again, that that Queen of Cups in reverse, man, is definitely someone who's very unreliable. All right, so I'm just letting you know right there. That's karmic energy um, off the bat, whether it's a male or a female. It's just energy, right? You can operate masculine, feminine, either way. If you a male, then, of course, it's female. If you female, however, if it's same sex, you know what I'm saying. Whoever's operating in this feminine energy here, all right, can't be trusted. And what I'm seeing here with this eight of swords, you may definitely feel trapped by that circumstance. You feel like you don't have a way out of that circumstance here. This is where you lack the discipline. This is why you have the issues that's coming in. The emperor in a reverse position. That's an uh, emperor in reverse is just someone who lacks discipline. That's why these issues have been created. And that's where this third party situation came from. Okay. Because overindulgence is what I see <laughs> and celebrating a lot <laughs> very sociable okay very sociable period here okay and you may have linked up with um a friend someone from the past and that wow it created a lot of heartbreak here because when it comes to your goals the world card came out in the upright position. Something here, right? You may start to feel like you were accomplishing some things, but then I got the Ten of Wands here. Then you realize you end up was doing too much by yourself. You were struggling under the weight of this situation, and now it started to become a burden. You felt weighed down by it. Then I got my Three of Swords again, still third party in energy. We got three swords stabbed in his heart. Okay, so definitely somebody was deeply hurt, especially when it came to creating whatever that firm foundation was. So that's why you may feel, or this person in your life may feel like they in prison, imprisonment, right? Then guess what? Because of all of that, um, those constraints, or even if it was some type of unorthodox happiness there, and it wasn't real, superficial is what I'm hearing. You know, Ace of Cups in reverse, bam. 
you started having issues or there may be some issues coming in or you may feel like you know there's a lot of negative changes that came that have come because of because of that I didn't want to say like what was coming to my mind I'm like no I shouldn't say it that way <laughs> because of that <laughs> wow mm. okay Libra let me pull some closing out messages for y'all because that was a lot <laughs> show me what I need to see here for Libra yep there's a lot of seduction is what's coming through this card. A lot of temptation, a lot of third party interferences. May a link with somebody at work. A lot of flirting, a lot of hooking up with this card. Okay, there's a lot of temptation. That's all I'm going to say, right? And here with the clock that came out next to that, you know, you're going through a cycle. So this is a time here where you got to take the time to heal and go within for real because everything is happening on divine timing is what I'm saying here so that you can be able to progress. But it's taking some time here, all right, because you may still be distracted by the things that seduce you. And what I'm seeing here is that with the X card, something has to be cut off. You got to cut this off. I mean, with the X, like you got to sever this shit. Okay, that's about breakups. It's about separation so that you can stop an unhealthy pattern. Thank you. Or again, flip the road, Libra. <laughs> Emotions are running high at this time, okay? So I'm going to pull, I'm going to read um, from the book to see what that's about for y'all. And then I'm going to end it as soon as I see the book. <laughs> Let me see. It's around here because I just used it. Oh, here we go. All right. So with the super moon, look, and it's right there too. This card suggests that the answer to whatever your accent is writ large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. It's like, y'all, if you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, okay, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. The card is about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and positive outcomes when this card comes up, but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day. So take action. Success is close. You just must trust that you're going to get what you need out of this. Okay. When you make this decision and that other shit, let me tell you, you will have a very positive outcome. Okay. A resolution to your question is closer than you may think. So don't ignore the obvious. Something existing is something exciting that lies ahead for you. So make sure you don't blow events out of proportion here. Okay. And speak to the divine for some existence, even to your angelic team. However, you know, it, it, it resonates for you. Start asking. Sorry, my neighbor up there on some bullshit again, y'all. All right. So you can expect your feelings to be more highly charged at this time. Okay. So definitely pay attention to you, what you're feeling. Think about some things, do some self reflecting as well. Right. But just know that you got to trust the process and you got to allow this to unfold. Okay. <clears throat> and not be fearful if that's there, the anxiety, because at the end of the day, this is about you getting here with the world card. You're reaching your goals, your achievements, right? Things coming to completion um, for you. And you don't want to have a lack of closure or have that feeling of not being complete because you didn't take action to get to those things here with the four wands to create that happiness that you seek. That reliable foundation, okay? That relaxed home environment. Something to celebrate. Some of you want to get married. Some of you want to have children right just think about the overall bigger picture for yourself okay libra all right so um don't forget to like subscribe and share also y'all if you check out 
my channel right and you click on the membership link i do have some membership packages that are available so check them out i have the soul tribe squad and i also have my divine feminine squad so um check them out i give you all these extra perks it's going to tell you what the perks are but it gives you a more intimate personal relationship um between me and you instead of it being on a large scale like this okay um you definitely get to reach out through me through instagram messenger um i do personalized readings within the groups um it's on a group basis still but of course it's not thousands of people tuned in um because the memberships are not going to be that large especially not now but it seems very personal let's just put it that way okay so definitely check that out all right y'all so i love y'all y'all have a good rest of the week until we meet again peace <laughs>